The music that I play and the instruments that I use, uh, people ask me um, about writing songs and uh, how do I compose pieces with these instruments. And I try to replicate the way I imagine the ancient artist work because the images that they created in the ancient books, we call, refer to them as the codices, they're filled with symbolism. It is embedded with layers of knowledge. This is how they created their art, their sculpture, their architecture. It's just infused with symbolism. And so when I create and write music, I try to utilize those same type of principles so that on the surface, it sounds like a, a nice, pleasing song, but there's a lot of knowledge embedded in, in that arrangement of the music and the choice of instruments I use. I'm an artist. I create with what I have. I create sounds that I hear, sounds that come to me. Uh, I'm inspired by, by things that are always happening around me. When you happen to go to an event where there are some Aztec dancers, they are sharing dances that have been danced for hundreds and hundreds of years using the same instruments as well. The, the big, large wooden drums, the wewets, the ayakashkli gourd rattles. You'll see the dancers dancing with the rattles. You'll hear the flutes. You'll hear lots of percussion instruments. And these are all the instruments that when you hear them, it, it wakes up something deep inside. Uh, so this is the beauty of indigenous music. And when I first met Walter, and he was telling me about this project and how he was researching his past, his family, and his culture, it just seemed like a, like a perfect marriage for, for me to be able to share my music um, in his project. It was, a, it was a beautiful experience, and I'm glad that Walter um, allowed me to have the opportunity to share uh, part of my life and part of my music in his project.